One day, you're climbing at the gym and suddenly you realize your friends have left you. You look to your left, you look to your right, and the only thing that is inside is a lone pair of climbing shoes. Your climbing shoes. You pick them up, give it a whiff, and you start retching as you realize they smell bad, like really bad, like rotten feet with fungus growing on them bad. It's time to clean your shoes. If you've experienced this, you're not alone. Climbers everywhere go through the struggle of maintaining a fine balance between their social relationships and ever taking their shoes off while climbing, because I mean, no one's gonna deal with that stank. So I decided it was time to clean my shoes. I've been wearing them for about one to two years now and I've never washed them. Not once. So I'm expecting a lot of gunk to pop up. Now before we actually wash our shoes, it's probably a good idea to do some research beforehand. Some climbers say that you should never wash your shoes as it can damage or deform the shape that they've grown into as you climb them, especially leather material shoes. The shoes I'll be washing today in particular are the La Sportiva Pythons, both the older black orange variant as well as the newer lime green one that you probably see in every single gym that you visit. After a quick Google search, I found that certain brands don't recommend ever washing your shoes, while other brands like Scarpa say it's okay as long as you follow certain guidelines, like making sure not to expose them to extreme heat or cold, and not drying them in direct sunlight, for example. For my funky pair of pythons, I found on the last Sportiva website that there isn't anything specifically saying I shouldn't wash them, so I'm just gonna give it a shot and if they turn out unusable, I guess that will be a sign for me to get a new pair of shoes. Definitely not an excuse to buy a new pair of climbing shoes. Alright, before we start washing these shoes, if you enjoy my content, do hit that subscribe button because we're almost at a thousand subscribers which is a huge milestone for me. I've also got a ton of new video ideas coming up, so make sure not to miss that. So let's take a quick look at the shoes before we wash them and we can see that the main area that is going to be an issue is the inside of the shoes. If you've seen a new pair of um, pythons, you'll know that this is not the colour that it's supposed to be. So I decided to go with the tedious but more careful hand wash technique and using a basin together with warm water in the shower to clean those shoes. I had a feeling it was going to be really nasty but I was not prepared for it to be this bad. So much gunk and dirt just kept coming out of my shoes and you can see in the colour of the water that it's just getting filthier and filthier. A large portion of that was definitely the dye itself as you can tell from the colouring but after scrubbing and seeing the dirt come out, I was definitely looking forward to the result at the end of this process. It was really tough getting deep into the shoe to scrub it out, but if anything, this will help me train my patience to project. <laughs> it took me about 4-5 to five rounds of washing and clearing the water till I got tired and decided that this was enough, but I reckon if I had spent more time, I could have probably got even more gunk and funk out of there. I feel like this really puts into perspective how gross it really gets down there and it reminds me of a video that I saw a while ago, a video by Bouldering Bobets, I think they were celebrating their uh, one of their milestones or anniversaries for the number of subscribers that they had and they did this thing called a shoey where they basically took a shot from inside the climbing shoe and I was just like how, how did they bring themselves to do that, I mean kudos to them for the commitment. But don't, don't do that, probably get food poisoning. Anyway, once I was done with the shoes, you can see how they look. There's already a distinct difference in the before and after shots, but the real question is whether they will still be usable after they fully dry out. To start that process, I wipe them down with a dry cloth after I finished washing them and it's recommended to put in dry materials like newspaper or if you have on hand some dehumidifying packets which would be perfect but I didn't so what I did is I just left them out and made sure to avoid direct sunlight and to make sure that it wasn't too cold or too hot so that there wasn't going to be any deforming of the shoes. 
Alright, so after leaving them out to dry, we went down to a gym to give them a shot and I was really worried because it was really really stiff. You can tell as I press into the shoe here that it is kind of hard. It's almost as if I had rewound time and put them back into a state where I hadn't broken them in yet. And I was kind of worried but thankfully after a few climbs, they actually felt the same just without the gunk and funk. Or at least well, it wasn't perfect, but there was less of it. After falling on some hard boulders, I'm glad to report that this was a success. And my shoes have not been ruined. I guess I won't be getting a new pair soon. If you, however, can't be bothered to wash your shoes, which is understandable, I honestly think that's fine. As there are plenty of ways to ensure that your shoes don't get too smelly or don't build up that gunk and funk. Personally, after I did some research, I have found that the reason or what causes these bad odours and smell is actually a buildup of bacteria. So in order to avoid that, what I started doing was taking an antibacterial spray and making sure to spray that chew down once I'm done climbing. And once you've done that, I deodorize them by placing them next to these dehumidifying tablet thingies that I have. I'm not sure what they're actually called. But I found that doing that helps a lot. And after a full day of drying them out, or at least by the next time that I climb, they are more or less good to go and they don't smell that bad. Of course, there are other ways that people take care of their shoes as well. So if you have any ideas or you have a foolproof method that you know that prevents the bad smell, do let me know in the comments down below. And hey, if all else fails, you could just buy a new pair of shoes. And you just have to, you know, endure the torture of breaking them in again. But mm. All right, if you made it this far into the video, why not consider subscribing? It really helps out and we are almost at a thousand subscribers. So that's it for this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!